Hello everybody, it's the 1st of October 2015, Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. Now, um, what I'm doing today is doing a little bit of patch grassing. Now as you know, there was a cherry plum tree here. The stump was still here, long dead, and I've had to dig it out. So you could see the hole was rather large, obviously I filled it back in, but of course the grass is no longer there. So what I need to do is to set some grass seed. Now, what you need to do when setting grass seed is remove all the major debris, so you can see all this. I took that off using the the rake there. You want to make sure you get it as level as you want it. I mean, some people want their lawn to be 100% perfect and level. I'm not too worried about that because I like things to look a little bit more natural. So, um, you know, it's level enough for my eye. I'm quite happy with that. So, removing all the weeds if you can, debris, so big stones like this look you don't really want. So, add them to the debris pile. So what you need to do is get some good grass seed. Now this is brilliant. I've found this really good stuff. Super Patch Grass Seed. I think I got this from, um, I think it was either Poundland or the Pound Shop for unsurprisingly one pound. So, um, and what I like about it is the fact that it, it comes in this sort of, I don't know what it is, sand or brown stuff or something, and it stops you spreading it too thickly because you, it can be tempting to spread grass seed too thick and it can get to unnecessarily expensive so what you want to do is you want to this is the sort of you can see I put some here this you can see the little seeds here these little things like this you want to follow the instructions on the packet of what you use but to, don't set it too too thick so I'm going to use this grass seed like this and scatter it like that Now with regards to setting grass seed, you can set it, I believe it's in this area, April to October, so that's the southeast of England, and we do tend to get the uh, warmest weather in this part of the country. So, this is how you do it. Not too thick, make sure it's nicely raked and remove the debris. Now, if you live in a, an area, maybe Scotland or somewhere like that, maybe you would have to, probably couldn't set the grass sort of this late in the year. Maybe you would have to do it, you know, up to September, so maybe May to September, something like that. I'm not an expert on the climates outside of this area, but uh, I mean, for example, yesterday around here, it was 18 degrees and sunny, and it's uh, the weather is holding out very well. Now I know that uh, of course it won't won't hold out forever and we will uh, the inevitable winter will come but uh, so far so good. So you can see the sort of thickness I'm setting this at and you can get grass seed relatively cheap now from sort of bargain places and you can obviously go to your usual places, being q home base, and get it from places like that. So there we go. So I've set that nice and sort of evenly over the, the area that I'm doing. And what you want to then proceed to do is to just gently, back and forth, rake it in. Now, of course, this is only a very small area of, of land that I'm grassing here. I mean, I have got all of this, you can see, from the backyard orchard. That's all got to go. It's all got to be grassed, sorry. So there we go. That's what you do. You Initially, you gently rake your area over, remove all the debris. You then set your grass seed thinly according to the instructions on the back of the grass seed you're using. I understand that there are different types of grass seed and the instructions are different. So make sure you follow your instructions. You don't want to set it too thickly or too finely and uh, your efforts come to nothing. So the next thing to do is simply proceed to water it in. Now of course if it was going to rain today I wouldn't bother with this. But whilst this grass is establishing, 
you mustn't let it dry out and then the obvious thing don't let anybody walk on it so that's basically how to do a little bit of patch grassing keep it moist well watered until it establishes and then you'll have another lovely area newly grassed one thing you can do if you want to be extra careful is you can put a net over it to stop birds eating the grass and of course it will uh, stop anything walking on it, animals for example. Any questions post below.